An Israeli man has just been murdered in the northern West Bank. 35-year-old Rabbi Raziel Shevach, a father of six, was driving his car near the Chavat Gilad outpost when another car pulled up next to him and opened fire. The rabbi was able to call for help but succumbed to his wounds in the hospital. And the suspects are believed to be Palestinians. <laughs> בן אדם שחוזר מקניות, עם השקיות של הקניות, כמו שפנים, כמו שפנים בלילה בכביש, אנחנו חזקים יותר מכם. עם ישראל הוא חי, הוא חזק, ואנחנו ננצח את הפחדנים שלכם, אנחנו ננצח את הטרור שלכם. The IDF has immediately put the nearby Palestinian city of Nablus under lockdown and are widening their manhunt for the killer or killers. IDF Chief of Staff Gadi Eisenkot has just visited the scene of the crime but came under fire by local settlers for failing to take proactive measures to boost security in and around Jewish outposts in the West Bank. Hamas has openly praised this horrific terror attack, pinning it on recent U.S. policy shifts, including President Trump's bombshell decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital and his threat to cut U.S. funds to the Palestinians for refusing to negotiate. Prime Minister Netanyahu has sent his deepest condolences to the family and has promised swift justice to locate the terrorist.